Welcome to Catch and Go. It's a blessing to come to you and to deliver the word of the Lord. We're going to go into the December 5th, 2023 Open Vision. This is the third vision, and I'm going to explain to you because it was a little bit after midnight. I believe it was 12.03. The Lord pops the window open. Let me explain. This is December 5th, 2023. We did the second video to the second vision, which we explained concerning the December 2nd, 2023 vision. Then there is the November 25th, 2023 vision, where the Lord came at 11.05 a.m. The Lord came at 2.12 p.m. And then the Lord came at 2.37 p.m. in the afternoon, not only in the third and final time on November 25th, 2023. I already explained to you concerning the second vision on December 2nd, 2023. This is the third vision on December 5th, 2023. It was a little bit after midnight. I believe it was about 12.03 a.m. The grace of God pops the window. The Lord appears to me. I'm caught in this vision. It's an open vision. The Lord appears to me. I see the Lord's hands. And what the Lord has in his hands, it's an open book. Then as I'm caught in this vision, the grace of God then shows me his hands again. And this second time, the books were already open. And then the Lord said to me, the second time, he said, the book of remembrance. So I knew that the first time when he first showed me his hand and there was the books open, I knew that the Lord was speaking concerning the last book of life. Then, I, as I said to you just now, then he showed me his hands again and the second book was already open. And the grace of God then uttered these words to me, audibly, verbally, the grace of God said the book of remembrance. But wait a minute. The Lord had the books open. And when the Lord had the first book open, and when the Lord had the second book open, the Lord showed me my name, the Lord showed me my wife's name, and the Lord showed me one of our board of directors' name. Then he changed me, and then he goes on to say the book of remembrance, and then the Lord has the book of remembrance open already. He shows me my name written in the book of remembrance. He shows me my wife's name written in the book of remembrance. And also in the book of remembrance, there was the name of one of our board of directors. So our names were written in the last book of life and in the book of remembrance. I want you to understand that the grace of God is speaking loud and clear. Because on December 2nd, 2023, the glory of God spoke very clear. And God said over and over that was coming. The grace of God said was a shout, not only a shout, and that his son Jesus was about to descend with the archangel. Then remember I said, but I saw the Lord descend and landed on the earth. And as soon as the Lord landed on the earth and his feet touched the earth, amen, the grace of God spoke to me concerning Zechariah chapter 14, verse 4. Now the Lord has given me some instructions. I'm going to explain to you what instructions were those that the Lord just gave me. The Lord said, son, I want you to go back and remind them of John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. Remember, I have said for several weeks and for several months and for quite some time and for many years, I have said that Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 is still incomplete. God's still working. Not only working from Genesis 1, verse 1, but also the grace of God saying, and he's showing me the word crossover, amen, because God is saying that I did a title called crossover, and you need to go and listen to that. Then the grace of God 
also came now and spoke to me concerning not only the third and final crossover, but the glory of God shed that there's going to be a shout and not only a shout but in this third vision that the Lord took me on December 5th 2023 which is actually today today a little bit after midnight I said it was about 12.03 a.m. in the morning the Lord pops the window open I see the Lord very clearly he's got the books open and what God is saying and God sending a stern warning to all of humanity. So the Lord just said to me, watch what he said, to all backslider. Why would God send backslider? Because God said a second thing. I'm going to tell you what he just said. God said backslider because God see that there are millions and millions of believers that are backsliding. Then what was the second thing he just said to me? He said the word lukewarm. And remember that the grace of God will simply spit you out and not only vomit you out, but the glory of God is sending alarming warnings to believers that are still napping sound asleep in this global awakening. The grace of God said to me, are you ready? A third thing? He said, you're going to find yourself left behind. That's why, as a believer, I've always said, since the time I began to not only meditate upon the Word of God, study the Word of God, not only days and hours for many years and many decades, I realized that I came to this point that I was totally convinced that when the rapture happens, I have said over and over, I don't believe that every believer will be taken up. Now, you can disagree with me, but I don't believe that everyone is ready or prepared. Because remember, for several months now, and for since 2021 and 2022, God has been saying that the church is what? Unprepared. That all of civilization and all of humanity is unprepared. And remember, the grace of God's been speaking and warning concerning those that will be left behind. And the Lord just said to me, but the tears of the saints, watch what he said, but the tears of the saints being wiped out and the angel of death being destroyed once and for all. And the Lord showing me Romans chapter 16, verse 20. It says that Jesus will soon crush the head of Satan. And I want you to understand, there are reasons and I hope you don't take it lightly, but you have more urgency in your spirit, not only to run back to your first love, not only to pick up your devotional top, whether it's praying, whether it's fasting or weeping, whether it's meditating upon the word, whether it's giving your tithing or bringing in your tithe or going to church on Sunday, the grace of God is saying very clearly that there are millions of believers that are backsliding, that are lukewarm, and I'm going to tell you what the Lord just said, and he said this several months ago. He said, and they're living a double standard life. God is sounding the alarm, making it very clear, and the grace of God said to me also, not only living a double standard life, but he said that they are also not only living a life, amen, but they're being troubled, not only mentally, their mind, but they having a double state of mind mentality. Look what the Lord said, a double state of mind mentality. And the Bible says that God hates a double-minded man or woman or believer. And the grace of God said another thing just now. He said, you can't put your hand to the plow and plow and then turn back. Amen. Because the kingdom of God is not about turning back, but about moving forward. And God said, and taking the kingdom by force. Look what the grace of God said. His kingdom is not about turning back. When you put your hand to the plow, when you gave your life to the Lord, when you decided to go and do the Lord's work, when you responded to the call in your life, when you responded to not only the call, but as a believer, it is your responsibility and your duty to continue to exercise, to continue to practice a thing called 
faith. So when you're practicing faith, faith will see that you're moving in faith, then faith begins to work on your behalf. And the grace of God said, the mercy will come out and meet you halfway. But in this third vision, remember I just said, at the opening of my telecast, I saw the Lord. There were the books in his hand. The first book was the book, the Lamb's Book of Life. The second book, he went on to say, the Book of Remembrance. And our names were not only in the first book, the Lamb's Book of Life, but our names were also in the Book of Remembrance. I wanted to come and speak concerning not only the third vision that the grace of God took me into on December the 5th, 2023, a little bit at the midnight. Why the Lord does such things? Why the Lord works in such ways when God comes not only in the early in the morning, but also in the midnight hour, at the 11th hour, the 11th month, the 11th day, the year 2023, the title 1111, the not only 1111, but a thing called the establishment. God is not only about to establish his kingdom on heaven and earth, a new heaven, a new earth, and a new Jerusalem in the city of Jerusalem, and God crowning his people, crowning the saints, amen, putting a white stone in our crown with a new name. Glory to God in the grace of God said that the city of Jerusalem will rejoice soon because the return watch what he said the city of Jerusalem will rejoice because the return the soon return of that blessed Savior and the blessed King of Kings and the Lords of Lords and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and the Lord opened my ear to hear these words Hosanna 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 blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord if you're listening to this telecast you ought to shout if you listen to this telecast, you ought to praise him right now. If you listen to this telecast, you not only praise him now, but you should be praising him every moment and every second of your life. As long as you got breath. Remember the Bible says that as long as you got breath, praise the Lord. When the praises go up, the glory comes down. And the glory of God said to me, the Shekinah glory. This is the third vision where the Lord took me a little bit after midnight. It's 12. 3 a.m. in the morning, December 5th, 2023. And the grace of God has the books open. And the Lord just said to me something extremely very powerful. He said, and you're about to cross over to life. We're about to graduate. And we're going to find ourselves at the judgment seat, at the bema seat, standing before the Lord, giving an account to every single word, words, actions, actions, words, and deeds, and everything that we did here on earth. And that's why God said in not only December 2nd, 2023, the second vision, the grace of God said, make sure that you don't get past it, that you don't put your guards down. Then he said, what? The dressing room. Continue to rehearse because the grace of God is showing me Isaiah. Remember Isaiah? When it talks up there about in the book of Isaiah, I said, and the bridegroom will come what? Out of his chamber. The glory of God also said to me something very powerful. The grace of God said to me, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. You can read verse 1, 2, 3, and on down. And the glory of God said to me, after he said Daniel 12, 1, the Lord said, oaks of righteousness. And this is what he just said. He said, we are about to be crowned. Watch what he said. We are about to be crowned in his glory. Glory to God. A glorious bride waiting for a glorious king of kings and lords of lords. The Alpha and Omega. The Prince of Peace. And soon the world will see Jesus come out of the clouds. The earth will experience a major earthquake. Darkness like never seen before. The dramatic moment, a dramatic moment on earth where not only you're going to see cosmic event, 
catastrophic event, but a global event and a global moment of sequence and a time of what? Transition. Time where he's revolutionizing, where he's moving the hearts of leaders around the world to go to war, to go to war. And here is the one mistake that world leaders make with the globalists, with the left, with the Antichrist, with the Pope, the Papacy, and anyway, everyone on the left. Are you ready? When you decided to touch the children, God said that was the time that he was going to go to war. Everything is subject to the name of Jesus, and the Lord just said, and every knee will bow and confess that Jesus is Lord of all. I wanted to come and do this third video on the, the third vision where the Lord took me on December 5th, 2023, a little bit after midnight. And what you're going to see is there's going to be a midnight cry, the sound of the trumpet, the separation, God closing things very quickly, a swift and moment, not only swift, but very swiftly, you will see chaos, confusion, total global war. The Middle East goes up in flame. The South China Sea goes up in flame. The Golan Heights already. The Black Sea, not only the South Pacific Island. OPEC crashes, the Lord said. The oil crash, the collapse, the collapse in the making, the global digital currency, the mark of the beast, the Antichrist, and God simply removing the saints in the believer in the nick of time because there is Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, the grace of God spares the saints in the believer and the glory of God takes us up in glory. May the Lord so richly bless you. Remember to click like, share, subscribe, hit on the bell to receive our latest telecast. And remember, I catch you on my next telecast of Catch and Go. God bless.